Amongst the pre-season tips to get out of the Skybet Championship this season were naturally the three clubs relegated from the Premier League. But after major personnel changes, with Burnley slightly less fancied than Norwich City and Watford, however, 22 games in, Vincent Company's leaders stand nine points clear of fourth place, Norwich City and 10 of fifth place to Watford. Let's talk to midfielder Josh Brownhill. Hand on heart. Did you think it would take longer, Josh, for you to gel with all that change going on? Yeah, definitely. I mean, you always hope that when, you know, coming down from the Premier League, you, your eyes are always like, oh, I want to get back to the Premier League, I want to get back to the Premier League. And then new manager comes in, you know, some players leaving out of contract. You hear of rumours of other players leaving and you you start thinking, you know, there's going to be a big change here and a big change of style of play and all of that. So, you, you you know, you sort of hope that you want to get back, but realistically, you know, it's it's going to take a while before you find, you know, you get your feet on, on the ground sort of thing. Yeah, I mean, you found a consistency that the others haven't because um, the two others I mentioned there um, uh, have found decent form in little flutters, but then they go on a bit of a, a blip along the way. But you just seem to have been machine-like from the second you kicked off against Huddersfield Town in the opening game of the season. Yeah, I think we've been well drilled since, you know, the first day that the, the gaffer came in um, and what they told us. And, you know, they've put in a lot of work, you know, a lot of hours, not just on the training pitch in meetings and you're sort of going through everything and, you know, making sure that we know, you know, all our roles down to a T. And like I said, there's still a lot of improving to happen, which I'm sure come towards the end of the season, you'll you'll see us in full force. And, you know, even now, obviously, we're in good form, but I still feel like there's a, there's another level in us. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I think consistency is key. I feel like I think we've got beat twice. We've probably only looked like maybe losing probably once against Sheffield United. Um, I feel like when we played against Watford, we still had chances in, in the second half more so to, you know, to take the game on and, and, and sort of get the win but you know unfortunately we didn't but you know I'm happy where we are so far we look really strong um, so yeah so hopefully the form can continue I'm smiling because I love how some of you guys even though you've had this brilliant brilliant season are still forensically analysing in your head the bits that didn't quite work out for you and stuff um, can we? Can I just take you right back I mean when you do get relegated from the Premier League and obviously you'd worked a lot of years to, to get up there uh, do you get any help with overcoming the the disappointment? Do, you, do, do the do, I mean the club was going through transition itself, but I mean how what do you do? Do you do you just go and sit and mope for a month? Do you go off to on holiday? What do you do to kind of get it out of your system and press your own reset button, Josh? Um, I have a big family and you know great support from from my friends and and from my girlfriend as well. So they sort of never let me get too down and and stuff. And like I said, after. So the first couple of weeks, it was a sort of exciting, the fact going into the championship and wanting to get promoted out of the championship, as I've always had a had a goal, like I say, is if I was coming down from, you know, from in the Premier League later on in my years or wherever it is now, it was it was always a name to, to get, you know, to win a trophy and, you know, get out of the championship. And, you know, unfortunately we got relegated, but it's a chance for me to sort of, achieve one of my goals sort of thing so it's, it was sort of an exciting project so yeah the other i suppose the other side of this is the the human side which is when you look at the people that left the club i'm guessing you've got a few mates in there who you you liked being with on a day-to-day -day basis and all of a sudden they're heading off to brentford or everton or wherever they've gone off to yeah um it's a sort of a, a sad thing to sort of see them leave after spending so many so much time with them so many years and like i was saying before they they deserve their move they're really you know top quality premier league players and you know for for maxwell and ben me has shown going to brentford he's he, he's done amazing Tarky everton with, with dwight and you know they're really really good players and you know they deserve to be there obviously it's a little bit going because you you sort of want the good call people to stay and give yourself a good chance um but like i say i'm delighted for them to to be in the premier league and, and for us we're doing well which makes it a little bit more easier for for them for leaving being honest when you've got a bit of a premier league legend vincent company coming in even though he comes from the other side of manchester's the one you started your career at 
I, are you a little bit nervous on that first day when you go into the the sort of group meeting or the one to one and think, wow, where do I fit in here? It's Vincent Company I've got. Yeah, I mean, as much as I, I played for United, I was a City fan and my family's a oh, City fan. Yeah, so right. all, uh, I mean, my 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 oldest brother's a, a really big fan of of Vinny anyway. Um, so for me, it was yeah, it's it, it's exciting, you know. Like I said, being a City fan and sort of the Premier League legend status that he's got and how well he's done in his career. Um, so it was exciting. But still, yeah, when new manager comes in, you you sort of you don't know where you, you stand. And for a while, I didn't know sort of where I sort of couldn't really read him. And, you know, with all the sessions that he was doing, I was, you go well me thinking, is he having me? Is he not? Um, you know, because <laughs> obviously it's football and football is one yeah. manager likes you and another person, you don't sit, suit their, their system. I've come from playing one sort of way to a fully changed road to another. So, you know, you never knew where you were going to stand. And, you know, after after a while, we had a little bit of a meeting and, you know, he was just explaining to me where, where he sees me affecting the game and, you know, sort of my role in the team and, you know, he wanted to be a big, uh, me to be a big member of the team. And, you know, since then, I, I knew he was, you know, sort of happy with, with where I was at. And like I say, he's he's really good. He wants me to prove every single day, and it, it's something that is like I say when it's it's really exciting because like I say, every day is like a learning day. Yeah, I I guess when you get that 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 confidence boost of the manager actually taking you to side, and you hear those words, "I want you to be a, a central plank in this team," that, that must that must give you another 15 percent on the field as well, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. And it was like I say for a while of not knowing where you stand, and you get that, you sort of know. Uh, sort of where you stand, but then you know he brings players in. There's a we've got a really really strong team uh, in depth as well. So like as much as you might think, oh, I'm doing well. As soon as you take the foot off the gas, there's somebody raring and ready to come in. I think we've had a lot of substitutions this year that have come on and scored goals and done well, and we've rotated the team. And I think the team that might have started the first game of the season might be a little bit different now to to where we're at now. So you know if you take five ten percent off. You know the 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 other person that is ready and waiting to come in, and I feel like in this division to get promoted, you need strength and depth, and I feel like that we've got that. Yeah. How has he made you a better player individually? Well, I could I could go on for ages. I mean, he's sort of recognising my position in my my body position in you know where the passes forward are, where the players are, where the spaces are. So you got to think three steps ahead. Sort of, I'm used to running around like a headless chicken and got so much, so much energy. And, and they were showing me just stand still at times and be patient. And the ball will come to you when the ball comes to you, where sort of where the ball's forward will be. And you know, he's, in, he's improved me technically again to to another level. Um, like I say, he's improved pretty much my all round game and, and and adding more things going forward. For me, it was I knew I could affect the game going forward. Um, but I haven't done enough in my career and you know he saw that sort of early doors in training that I can affect it going forward it just needed a little bit of tweaking and a little bit of confidence and you know he give that to me and like I say it's, it's basically a learning day every day there's meetings there's one-on-one -on -one meetings there's, there's everything so it, like I say it's a really good place to be at the minute. You are absolutely brimming talking to you it just popped in my head while you were answering me there that if you do go back up at the end of the the, the the season end up back in the Premier League, then a season away could turn out to be uh, as 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 difficult as it's been for fans and all of you when you did get relegated. It could turn out to be absolutely transformational in the in the scale of Josh Brownhill's career. Yeah, I think so. He's he's sort of got got me back to playing at my best and sort of playing some exciting football. And I think for us, it was yeah, we got relegated, but. You know the confidence is building. It was a big transition for the club anyway. We're we're winning games. I think you know in the Premier League it's so so hard to win games and dropping down and and winning games is sort of it's enjoyable. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes you, you're going into games in the Premier League and, and you're getting beat. And I think last year we we took a while to get even one win, and you sort of miss that feeling. And and this year we've been I think we're on like twelve or thirteen wins, which is you know which is good for us so far. And like I say, it'll build us confidence as a team going into into the Premier League next year, hopefully, if everything goes to plan. I, I, I thought as well, one of the most key moments of the season so far was when you 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 did take your defeat at Sheffield United. Actually, the gaffers 
post-match interview was so thoughtful where he, he kind of looked at the skies and went, you know what, this might turn out to be a blessing in disguise because it's going to enable us to press the reset button, focus on the things that we might not necessarily have got 100% right and to go again. And obviously we're only a couple of games down the road since then, but so far so good. Yeah, like I say, it, sometimes when you lose, it's, a, it's another big learning curve and you sort of get to see where, you know, maybe you've got lucky over, over games and, and sort of paper over the cracks of where where some where we need to improve. And, and for us in that game, it was a bit of physicality and, and crosses into the box, um, corners into the box. And, you know, after it, we've looked at it, we've improved and we've sort of had the two games after with Blackburn, which was another important game. You know, you go into that one and if you get beaten that one, you know, you've lost the first and second in the division and, you know, it's sort of confidence. But then we go and beat Blackburn 3-0, which was a great performance. You have the break, you come back and, you know, we do another one with QPR who was second, you know, a month ago or whatever it was and we and we go and beat them 3-0. So I feel like sort of the break came at the right time as well as sort of the Blackburn game did because we, we sort of realised what we need to improve on. We went out and put on a, on a great show. So, yeah, I feel like with every loss that comes along, it's always a big learning curve. Skybet Championship fixtures this coming weekend. Then Friday night's Birmingham, Reading. Burnley are at home to resurgent. Middlesbrough have won four of their last six. Must just mention that Coventry at home to Swansea. They've doing, done a new rental agreement with the CBS Arena to see them through to the end of the season. Watford, who are fifth, travel to Huddersfield. Preston, where Josh started, currently sixth. They're at home to QPR, who have signed up Neil Critchley as their new manager on a three-and-a-half-year deal. Norwich against Blackburn is fourth against third. Then on Sunday, it's Luton Millwall. And Monday night, it is Wigan Athletic against second place Sheffield United. Final question. You've had a few weeks off. You've mentioned how close you are to your family, your girlfriend, your wider family. No excuses, mate. I'm expecting you've got all the Christmas shopping done. Have you all taken care of, even wrapped and just put in the bottom of the wardrobe, ready to be distributed? Do you know I'm not, not, I'm not so far off getting done, borrowing oh. a few presents here and there. Um, but I feel like leaving it a bit last minute and going in shopping in the last few days is sort of what Christmas is about. Um, but yeah, like I say, I'm excited for, for Christmas. Obviously, it's a little bit different with, with football. Um, obviously, you've got to focus on, on your football and stuff, but to have a little bit of time with the family and, like I say, girlfriend and close friends will be there. Uh, yeah, it'll be a good few days. You're a, you're an old romantic at heart, aren't you? So you like to take the pressure off and get the sort of bigger gifts done, and then just go and have a little meander one afternoon and just pick up a few little odds and ends just to feel Christmassy. Yeah, I feel like it's less stress doing it that way. That way you can enjoy it a little bit more rather than looking for the big gifts towards the end and you're panicking. <laughs> Josh, I'm gonna wish you luck. I'm gonna have to wish you luck for the game after Middlesbrough because I'm a Borough fan. But apart from that, <laughs> I've so much enjoyed watching you this season, seeing the way in which the club has reinvented itself. Absolutely spectacular. Thanks for joining us on the yeah, officially podcast. Much.